Kosato has high expectations for the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, state of the nation address on Thursday. Workers have a lot riding on it. The economy is still extremely fragile and emerging from a devastating recession, a global pandemic, a rough total lockdown on the economy, an unemployment rate which at 43% is unsustainable. Whilst they have made some progress last year in 2022 by reducing unemployment by 3%, the economy is still in serious difficulties. The economy is not going to grow and unemployment cannot fall if we have up to 10 hours of load shedding a day. The president, we hope, will announce a state of disaster and that every possible resource and support will be given to ESCOM by all organs of state and society to ensure that we can reduce and end load shedding. Equally, similar measures are needed to give to support our passenger and freight rail network, which is under siege from criminal elements and cable theft and vandalism. These are critical to growing our manufacturing, agriculture, mining sectors, and also to making sure workers in the cities can get to work on time. Similar turnaround plans are needed for many of our embattled SOEs, from SABC to Denel to the post office to Transnet to Metro Rail and so forth. We need to see government do much more to tackle corruption across the state. This includes empowering the South African Revenue Service to conduct lifestyle audits of politicians and the wealthy and senior management in the state. It includes giving the resources that are needed to the police, the National Prosecuting Authority, the judiciary, <clears throat> in particular to reduce the very worrying decline in the headcount in the police service and the National Prosecuting Authority. Many municipalities are in severe financial constraints. Some have completely collapsed, especially in rural areas. This has caused many companies in these small rural towns to close, further plunging those communities into poverty. We have about 12 million people unemployed. The presidential employment stimulus has provided hope for about half a million young people to get work experience. We think that presidential employment stimulus needs to be expanded to at least 1 million people in the February budget speech and to 2 million people by October medium term budget speech. This is critical to giving young people some experience and earning a salary and getting their feet into the labor market. The president, so the social, the special relief of Dis dispensation grant, has provided some hope to ten million people who are unemployed who have received it. We need to make sure that all people who are unemployed and entitled to it can receive it, fix the administrative uh, glitches, and increase the, the three hundred fifty rand amount to at least the food poverty line of about six hundred and fifty rand. Also, to link the people who are receiving it where relevant to skills opportunity programs, to job placement programs, to help them find you know, decent work. I think the critical thing also what society expects to hear